what's up my people how not do it in the happen with in this up guys if there is one actress that believes work comes before marriage at 32 after two kids that would be lizzie gold close friend of destiny etiko she's now 33 years old single with two kids born in worry delta state guys today the spotlight is going to be on lizzie gold and guys today we will also be talking about other things lizzie gold is one of the few actresses that i've seen you know come out to say boldly that she's not interested she's not even ready psychologically to get married the reason why i'm not married is because first of all one i like my space okay i like my space i'm not psychologically ready to be married now or rather i'm not psychologically ready for a man to be in my space all the time like every time i have to see you and some people some people said and um, what if the man decides to change his mind because okay. i told him to wait for me even when i'm 40 Mm -hmm. I'll get married. So I tell him to wait for me. And someone said, Why? And um, what if he doesn't wait for you? If you know where you can go, <laughs> I already have two kids. And you see those two kids, they're like my husband. Okay. They're like yeah. my the love of my life. Nothing else matters to me. Okay. Do you understand? Okay. But I'm not saying I don't love him. I love him, but I'm not ready to, to get married to him now. Right now. Right okay. now. I'm not ready at all. I'm not even thinking of it. I don't I don't even envy pictures I see on social media of people getting married. Like, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't envy anybody. Okay. Because as, as I do like this now, I don't get emotions though. I can't remember the last time I emotionally talked about a man. You don't, 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 don't love the man. Yeah. Yeah, I love him, but I don't... How do I put it now? I don't think think that much. I don't okay. have time to think of him <laughs> okay. that much because of work. Okay. You know, so we talk on the phone all the time, but I don't have time to think of him that much because... Because there's so much pressure in this work. And... To be honest to you, right now, a day like this, I don't really have emotional feelings for, how do I put it, for anybody okay. right now. Okay. You know, I might have for the father of my kids, small, small because he's the father, the father to my kids. Okay. But if they say I'm not born for him, um, okay. I know we get emotions at, at, all, all, at all because of the work. Okay. Maybe. Is it just the work? Eh, yes, it's because of, because of the work, because I'm focused. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you something, emotions can distract you from this work. So I, and I need to concentrate. Okay. But then I'm not thinking of one man, thinking of one man. I said, hey, baby, I'm missing you. Please come. Can you come and see me? Before you know, you start missing me. Now travel and forget about your work. Um, no. I'm looking for money. Okay. You know, when I'm done packing all the money I want, I can now think of having emotions for someone. Okay. Hey, but let me have money first. And you're not done. I'm not done. I'm you better start. I'm not started. <laughs> <laughs> but curious fans believe that Lizzie Gold is being bankrolled by a strong guy in politics as the ex-governor of Delta State. Most of them um, said that Lizzie Gold didn't want to get married because she knows that once that happens, she won't be able to get money from these big men. Now, this are just rumors not verified they say that the ex-governor of delta state is funding all your projects hmm. is that true not true that's what the fans said no it's not and true. the fans said that he is so sure ah uh, sure for me mm -hmm. yeah, the evidence it's not true nobody is funding anything for me i do all my stuff myself I'm, i mean i mean i mean hard i work hard yeah I know. so yeah. i can't comfortably fund my project so nobody's doing that and guys don't forget to subscribe if you're yet to do so i've got some more reports for you guys I'm going to read an interview with um vanguard uh where she said that it is not as if there was a misunderstanding between us here she was talking about the baby daddy and again settling down she says she's not ready even though she's got kids she was like I'm not ready. Uh, she, she continued, all that he begged me. It's just that I told him that I needed space and time. I wasn't ready to settle down. In fact, I am not mentally and psychologically ready for marriage at the moment. It's just better if we give ourselves some time. Maybe in few years, 
i will get married marriage is a beautiful thing i'm not against it i'm not just psychologically ready for it now my two kids are for same man because okay. people i've read stories that people say at least god has kids are two kids they're for different men no let me use this medium to correct it my two kids are for one man the girl that um that that, that insulted me if okay. that girl said for face me i face you i went mm. to her page you see, see see the ugly environment she, she's not even comfortable with her own life and she has the the audacity to talk about me thunder will fire you <laughs> So now you just talked about social media. Yes. I just remembered something. Mm -hmm. um, a few weeks ago, I think you put up a picture yes. on social media. I think it was an Insta blog. <laughs> and they <laughs> tore you to pieces. <laughs> I'm not like, God, oh, I, I can never be pressured yeah. to dress expensively, pack up my money I used to buy clothes because I want to impress people I don't know. I like that. Do you understand? I have passion for Nollywood. I most times I invest my money on movies. Yeah. People know I'm an executive producer. I enjoy producing movies. That's where Do you know how much to make a, a, a movie is? Yeah. Eh? You think it's buy clothes? <laughs> All these people that put their mouth and talk anyhow. It's not cheap to make a movie. At least minimum to make a, a movie in the is about four million. Now beans. You think it's about clothes? Most of you have clothes. Most of these girls they have expensive clothes. Empty bank account. One night I know they their account. Yeah, they will put their dirty mouth and be insulting celebrities. I will wear one other dress. If you want to die, die. <laughs> Guys, let us move straight to the next one. Here we've got Linda Ikeji. So, Linda Ikeji went ahead to release the movie, the Alu 4 movie, you know, Dark October. If you ask me, yes, I watched it the day it got out. That day, I watched it. Honestly, eh, guys, that movie for me is below average rule that's for me right that movie is just below expectation maybe because uh, you know i place this high expectation i mean there's a lot of buzz you know about it um on in Daikeji's page you know she's really really hyping the movie i don't know what to say about it but if you've watched the movie let me know i'm talking about storyline what do you think about the storyline what do you think about it being executed do you think it did a great job you know executing the role well it's not being made real like the way like they put their their mind and soul in it you know and it looks like a low budget movie as well i don't know um i'm not going to say more than that just let me know what you think about that in the comment section below but there's so much hype about this movie the next one right here is about a lady you know most of the time right we um take care of our parents because we need their prayers some people just do that for their prayers and uh, others just do it because they just want to appreciate you know their parents for being there for them and all that you know but this lady her case is different because the daughter went ahead to marry you know without informing her did everything without informing her i don't know what happened between them this lady came on social media and started cursing the daughter your own daughter <laughs> One day, she is going to be a little bit of 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 a Wemwonya <laughs> No opulu di kepo abala no boro mu nwamulia mana na ekwu okwu nu bosi nketa owe mu owe je gba akwukwo amakwata mu owe gba akwukwo etu nsi ekwu e hey shineke gospel wa aso na oni ike mu kosu e puta ni ike ko si puta nwa ala na abo shinyere ta kata abu nu wuya even we bidogo di bi agbotaria onye pelavu taria novu 
What I don't understand here is this. Somebody is definitely behind the camera. So you got someone to swear. You got someone, ask them to video you. And you place a, like a curse on your own child. Now, I'm beginning to think maybe this is the main reason why the daughter ran away from her and kept everything away from her because she knows her mother. This proves it because no matter what your daughter did to you, you I don't think any mother in their right sense would come on social media to swear or curse their own child or daughter okay moving on to the next one uh this one is a uh, relationship on the relationship too so this guy is trying to lecture ladies who think they have levels oh quick one a lot of those women are saying that guys should date according to their class fantastic i accept that's very accurate now most of those women shouting class 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 do you even know the meaning of high class you don't even have status some of them don't have a job some of them end below the average standard of living in their own country and you come out and talk about high class now what these girls call high class these days is them looking beautiful going to good places and taking good pictures post on the instagram it automatically makes them high class that is a self-constructed high class you're doing babe that is not high class so when you talk about high class and we should date according to our class most of these girls will not even have a boyfriend because you people are dating above your class now those girls understand how the dating market works and they are busy building their body and forgetting to build their brains at the end of the day this so-called body they have built there that is the physical appearance can shoot them to a certain level and they meet a high value man and start holding conversation and they can't even say anything because they are busy building their body and not their brains now a guy can even have a shop in ladipo market and be earning times 10 of what of what you've earned and to you he is not high class because he doesn't dress the way you want him to dress or he doesn't look the way you want him to look that doesn't make him less of a class now you think you are a high class babe because you post erotic pictures and all that on your instagram and you don't even have a job we can't even goggle you we don't know you your company is not even registered on that cac you're just a normal average broke girl that is struggling with her life but you understand how the dating market works and put a picture and you think you have the self-confidence to come out and talk about high class when we talk about class you should be the least people talking about class if people should date according to their class a lot of women will be single because these so girls out there that are claiming class are being upgraded by men that already have class so what are we saying men are still the one validating them so when you talk about class do your check background and understand the meaning of class 
stop creating a self-constructive world in your head and living in your delusional world that is not class you know a lot of people believe that these peers of Pretos customers are the ones that are vulnerable to fraud but that is really not true most of you know the cases that have been reported at least 70 percent of the stories are always about you know the peers of Pretos themselves being the victim guys let's watch this video this boy is a genius but decides to use his intelligence for evil he defrauded the pos operator of a total sum of 838,000 naira just by requesting for their hotspot connection the boy whose name is adejo david goes from pos to pos for a cash deposit transaction of 3000 naira only but always end up requesting the pos operators to put on their hotspot that is currently out of data on this faithful day he transferred the sum of 3000 naira only to the pos operator and it was confirmed but in just few minutes after he had left the pos operator got an otp code on the phone with an option to accept or decline the code but out of fear she made a costly mistake to accept the code and instantly she got a debit alert of the total sum of 838,000 naira on her phone and the transaction details showed that the money was debited into a bed account the case was reported to the police and tracing began with the phone number displayed on the betting app debit receipts he was traced and arrested he was arrested on the 4th of february 2023 at the eco hotel and suits where he was lodged and bowling with girls he confessed to the crime and claimed that an hotspot connection is all that is needed to defraud his victims this is mind-blowing technology is advancing apps are evolving times are getting tough and it is high time to stop sharing your network your connections even your gadgets with strangers okay moving on to the next one i know most of you have heard about it Bonaboy boy actually loses two grammys you know um this lady thames won her first grammy because of her contribution um to the song wait for you by future featuring drake and um i the reason why i'm saying this um is uh, because of you know the conversation about this lady on social media and there were also videos of um top celebrities you know american celebrities recognizing this lady even calling her attention can you imagine understand that but there's something i want to say about this i think whiskey should also be thanked for giving terms an opportunity we have to call a spade a spade an opportunity terms used well in fact, after Tim sent her verse, you know, for essence, she called Whiskey that she would like to make some changes. And Whiskey was like, no, it's perfect. Don't even touch it again. That was because she saw that opportunity, recognized that this is her time to shine. And she put her best. Even her best, she felt wasn't enough. She criticized herself after sending her verse. She criticized herself like, no, I need to perfect this work. It was Whiskey that said this one. What I heard here is already perfect. You don't need to add anything. So without Whiskey, I mean, Whiskey giving Thames that platform. Yes, we can say that, ah, of course, you know, Thames also helped Whiskey. But who's got the platform? Who's got the huge platform? Come on, it's Whiskey. So <laughs> let's just um, also, while we are doing all this, give a big shout out to Whiskey himself. Moving on to the next one banks and now hides this new naira notes in their vaults you see that the problem is not just the president it's ourselves now we do ourselves especially when the politician will come and say you know i need you to send so so amount of money to me in so so time we'll call their, their manager this particular person might be requesting for millions of naira and of course, you know, the manager, the bank manager will, got, he will definitely get his own share. But to do that, he needs to get greedy. And that's where it affects the citizens. And I think that's what is going on in background. Though. I've seen several videos of people spraying money like no tomorrow. Even though cash no day can see them showing off by, you know, spraying money with the new Naira note, some of them even show off this new naira who spent millions at the party spray the money and how did they get that money some of them 
I actually have, uh, you know, someone in the bank, that, although they will get their own courts. <laughs> okay guys that is where i'm going to hold this thank you so much for watching guys like this video subscribe until we see you next time peace